Hi everyone. In the previous class, we have seen the concept of how to perform multiplication, right? So means we are able to perform uh, one bit multiplication and two bit multiplication. Whereas if you are able to solve it, we can able to perform four bit multiplication also, right? And also we have seen how to perform multiplication using register shift method am i right so this method is efficient compared to earlier approaches right but the problem with this method is this method is if you are going to have n bit multiplier n bit multiplier we need to have compulsory n bit right chips right and also we required m bit or m number of additions are required right so why m number of additions are required when you are going to assume that if m number of ones are there in this n bits we need m additions now the question is is there any particular situation where this m number of additions can be reduced or not that's the reason we will try to learn one algorithm called Booth's algorithm, right? So the purpose of this Booth's algorithm is, which is meant for to perform the multiplication of uh, multiplicand and multiplier. Advantage is it can able to reduce number of addition of edges. as well as it can able to perform multiplication over unsigned numbers numbers okay fine so you may think that how how it can reduce the number of additions so for that i will try to prove it for you right there are certain situations for example let me take a number take a number as 0 double one zero what is the value of the 0 double 1 0? Right? So I think 1, 2, 4. The value of this one is 6. Well, this one is 6, right? Meaning that this is 2, 4, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2 square, and 2 cube. Right? If you are able to observe 0, triple 1, 0. Right? What is the value of this one? 2, 4, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2 square, 2 cube, 2, 4, 4. Which this value is 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 2. 14. 14, right? And what is the value of this one? Try to observe. 0, 4, 1, 0. 2, 4, 8, 16. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. 28 plus 2 is 30. Right? So, this one is 2, 4, 0. 2, 4, 1, 2 square, 2 cube. 2, 4, 4 and 2, 4, 5. Guys, if you are able to observe certain thing here, certain thing here, I can able to write this 6 as 6 as uh, 2 cube minus 2 power 1. 2 cube minus 2 power 1. Observe. Uh, 2 cube minus 2 power 1. Meaning that the 1 which is starting the location that is 2 power 1 and the end after the end the location is 2 cube that one. 2 power 4 uh, like 14 I can write it as 2 power 4 minus 2 power 1. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 minus 2 is 14. Right? Similarly, I can write this 30 as 2 power 5 minus 2 power 1. Means, you can able to represent a particular number. You can able to represent a particular number uh, 0 double 1 0 as in terms of 2 power 3 minus 2 power 1. See, what is the 0 double 1 0? I am assuming this as a cube. And the another one is m. Another one is m, right? Means I am trying to perform m into 2 cube minus 2 power 1. 2 cube minus 2 power 1. Right? When I am saying this one, I can say that I can say that uh, 2 cube into m, 2 cube into m plus plus 2 power 1 into m, 2 power 1 into m, right? So to get this uh, minus operation 
I can write this as minus m. Can you able to do it or not? Yes. Guys, in your terminology, in your terminology, what is the meaning of power of 3, 2 powers of 3? I can say that it is 3 times of left shift. Am I right? 3 times of left shift. What is the 2 power means? 2 power 1 means it is 1 time of the left shift. I hope you know, right? So, when you are trying to perform, like for example, uh, let me take a number called 0, 1. If I am trying to say that 2 power 1 means I need to perform left shift of a bit by 1. If I am going to left shift of a bit by 1, I can say that 0, 1, 0 is the answer. Yeah, that's the answer, right? 2 power 1, 1 means what? Again, you can say it as 1, 0. See, if you want, I will try to write the same thing as 0, 1 into 2 power 1 means what? 1, 0. Again, you can able to multiply 0, 0 and this one is 0, 1. So, you will get 0, 1, 0 which is both equivalent, right? Similarly, if you take 0, 1 into 2 cube, 0, 1 into 2 cube meaning that I need to perform 3 left shift. 3 left shift means what? So, one time uh, I can make left shift as by adding 0, second time 0, third time 0. So, 0, double 1, 0, 1, triple 0 is the answer, right? If you are able to do this one, you will get the same answer. 0, 1 into 1, triple 0, right? 1, 2, 4 and 8. You can able to multiply this one, you will get the same answer. It means I am trying to do it in reverse manner, 4 zeros followed by 1 triple 0. You are going to get 1 followed by see this will be multiplied with 0. So let me let me do this right. So 1 triple 0 as 8 1 2 4 8 right 1 triple 0 into multiplied with 1 multiplied with 1 right. So, if you are trying to do this one, you are going to get 1 triple 0. So, I made it reverse. Uh, 1 triple 0. So, this is wrong one. 1 triple 0 followed by 4 zeros. So, you are going to get 0 1 triple 0. So, which is same as this one or not? Meaning that when you are trying to say that uh, 2 power 3, I can say that 3 left shifts. When you are saying that you say that uh, 2 power 1 which is 1 time left shifts. So, in order to perform multiplication of multiplicand with a multiplier, like this, I can able to perform uh, total, I can able to perform total 4 left shifts, 4 left shifts, 1 addition, 1 addition and 1 subtraction, 1 subtraction. Are we able to reduce the number of additions or not? Yes. But the point is, this will be helpful when you are going to have continuous block of 1. See, observe here continuous block of 1 meaning that it can able to work for all the kind of things but when you are going to have continuous block of 1 you are going to get the number of additions are going to be reduced meaning that if you are going to have here m number of n blocks see this kind of blocks can exist for multiple times that may number of additions are required that may number of uh, subtractions are required that is what you have to think right similarly if i am going to say that this is m and this is q for this, what you have to do? 2 power 5. So, it has to multiply with multiplying, multiplicand. 2 power 5 m plus 2 power 1 into minus m. Meaning that, so here total you require 6 left shifts, 1 addition and 1 subtraction. This is the basic concept behind this uh, Booth's algorithm. Okay. Fine. Let me take an example, simple example. For example, uh, try to do, uh, if you are going to take uh, 0, 1, 0, double 1, which I can say it as m, right? Another number is uh, 0, triple 1, 0, I can call it as a q, right? So, basically in normal procedure, in normal procedure, how many uh, multiplications are required? Or, uh, how many additions are required? You require 3 additions. You require 
three editions because three ones are there. And how many shifts are required? Total you required three plus two, five. Right shifts are required. Right shifts are required. Right? Now this particular thing can we able to reduce with this procedure? Yes, we can do this with respect to the procedure. So how can we get this value? This value we are going to get by performing two power four minus two power one. Right? Two power zero, two power one, two square, two cube, two power four minus two power one. So total you required five left shifts, shifts, and uh, one addition as well as one subtraction. That is advantage of this algorithm. Okay, fine. Try to do, try to solve this one. So what you have to do now? So I will try to make uh, this one, right? So let me take 2 power 4 minus 2 power 1 right so i can assume that this has m this has m so you are going to get 2 power 4 into m plus 2 power 1 into minus m 2 power 1 into minus m this is what you have to do finally i do final right so what is 2 power 4 into m i need to shift the value of m by m by 4 bits Meaning that 0, 1, 0, double 1, I need to add 4 zeros. This is what? The first one. What about the second one? Uh, 2 power 1 into minus m, right? Meaning that it means I have to have, I have to have complement of m. What is, uh, like you can represent the negative number, right? You can represent the negative number either in 1's complement or in 2's complement. What is the 2's complement of m, right? I am trying to show 2's complement directly, right? 2's complement of m is, so this defines 2's complement, right? So if I am going to say the 2's complement of m, that is, actual number is this one. For this, 1's complement is 1, 0, 1, double, 0. For this, if you are going to add plus 1, you are going to get 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is 2's complement. This is 2's complement of this one, right? For this, they try to perform 2 power 1. 2 power 1 means what? See. 2 power 1 into 10101. So I can say this as again I need to shift by 1 bit. So you are going to get at the end 0. Now you need to perform addition of these two, right? So I can able to make equate, I can able to make equate, right? 01011 followed by 4 zeros. And what about this one? Uh, 0 as it is 1, 0, 1, I think 4 bits done. 1010 and 5th bit is 0, 6th bit is 1, 6th bit is 1, right? And what about the remaining things? Remaining things, remaining things, uh, you can make it as all ones. So 3, 3, 6. Okay, 3, 3, 6. Right? Remaining bit, you can make it as all ones. Why I am making it all ones? Because this number is 2's complement. This number is 2's complement. In 2's complement, at the end, even if you are going to add n number of ones, is there any change in the result? There is no change in the result. That is what you have to observe, right? Yes. Now you can able to perform addition. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This will be 1, 0. 1, 1 will be 1, 0. Triple 1 is 1, 1. And 1, 1 is 1, 0, right? So in B's complement, if you are going to get carry, we can simply discard it. We can simply discard it. So your result will be 1, double, 0. Double one, zero one, zero. You can able to observe uh, this value, zero one zero double double one. This value is eight plus three, eleven, and this value is uh, six. Sorry, four to six, two right. This eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus two, fourteen. Twelve plus two, fourteen. Right. Eleven, fourteen is there. You will get uh, around one fifty four. Right. So 154, right? So is there any, what is the value of this one? Right? So actually, you should not take out this one, right? Because it's a 2's complement, right? So you have to make this 0. Because in 2's complement, in 2's complement form, uh, this should be minus. If if you are going to have 1 at the MSB bit, right? I hope you understood. So the value in this will be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, right? So 128 plus... 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 2, you are going to 8, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 
so we are going to get 154 so you got the same answer or same answer right so this particular procedure is also yielding the result so means in this particular procedure we are going to require only one addition one subtraction and five left steps okay fine now i will try to explain the complete algorithm with a step by step right for example i am going to have numbers i am going to have numbers uh, minus 5 and minus 7 minus 5 and minus 7 i need to perform these two what is the result you need to have you need to have the result as 35 result as 35 so how we are going to get this one right with help of the same procedure only i am going to do so what is minus 5 minus 5 is uh, you can write it as in those complement so you are going to get minus 8 plus 4 minus 4 right minus 4 uh, if you are going to do double 1 what you can get 1 0 double 1 so 1 0 double 1 is minus 5 or not this is minus 8 minus 8 and this is minus plus 1 and this is plus 2 you are going to get plus 3 so 1 0 double 1 is my multiplicand and uh, what about the multiplier multiplier value is 1 double 0 1 right i hope you know how to get this one this is q right? this is minus 8 this is plus 1 you are going to get minus 7 right yes so in this booth algorithm booth algorithm first step what you have to do now you have to first take out one one accumulator accumulator means which is going to accumulate something huh? it's like a general meaning right so here you have to take how many number of bits are there in the multiplicand that many number of zeros you have to take i have taken four zeros as multiplicand contains four zeros and uh, the another one is q multiplier so multiplier contains what one double zero one as the multiplier and you have to take one extra one that I can say it for our checking purpose. Initially, I can make it as 0. Initially, I can make it as 0. Okay. And as like I said, there should be shift count. I have taken one variable as shift count variable. Right. So, guys, if you are going to take uh, shift count, how many bits you have to consider? Right. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, your value will be 4 here. For here, right? Yes. So this shift count should be zero, meaning that how many shifts you are trying to do, that many number of uh, counts you have to take. So shift count is four. So what you can do now here? Uh, first, try to observe when you are going to have when you are going to have uh, the next bit the previous bit is 0 0 and the next bit is 1 meaning that when you are going to get 1 0 1 0 it means that you need to perform accumulator minus yeah, accumulator minus m meaning that when you are going to have 1 0 combination you are getting you have to perform accumulator minus m what is accumulator accumulator is four zeros minus m so how we are going to get minus m so it you have to make it double complement so sorry two's complement so for accumulator you have to add its complement so its complement is what zero one double zero for this we are going to add plus one you are going to get zero one zero zero one zero one right so this zero one zero one you have to add you have to add. when you add 0 1 0 1 you are going to get 0 1 0 1 and this value will be 1 double 0 1 and it will be 0 once you perform this one you need to make right shift you need to make right shift right as you are trying to make right shift from left side so this will be 0 and all will move towards right shift. so this 0 will come here 1 will becomes here this will be 0 
this will be 1 and this will be 1 and it will be 0 this will be 0 this one will come here so as first step i am trying to write it clearly so this is shift done so shift count is what now 3 shift count is decreased by 1 that is 3 okay fine now now i got here the previous one is 1 and the present is 0 present is 0 so what you can do when you are going to get 0 1 0 1 so you have to make sure that uh, you have to perform accumulator plus m accumulator plus m right accumulator plus m means accumulator is here double zero one zero double zero one zero for this m value is what one zero double one one zero double one. you can make right this is like one this will be like one zero and here it is one double one zero one so this data should be double one zero one it should be one as it is. So after performing addition, you have to make again right shift. Right shift. Once you make right shift, guys, I am trying to do directly 0, double 1, 0, 1, double 1, 0. This 0 will be comes to here. So my shift count is now 2. Right? So double 1, 0, triple 1, 0, 0, and 2. And one more thing you have to consider. When you are trying to make a right shift operation, basically, basically you are going to do uh, here 0 at the end. But the thing is, whatever the bit that is available at the MSB side, that you have to make it as extend. Right? So previously you have here as 1 as a MS bit, that should be extended here. Right? Previously, when you are trying to make shift, previously you are going to have here 1 as a MS bit, that I have extended here also. Okay, so triple one zero. Now you can observe, guys. Here you got here double zero, double zero, right? So when you got zero zero, when you got zero zero, you can simply make arithmetic right shift. You make arithmetic right shift, right? So when you are trying to make arithmetic right shift, this should be as it is because MSB should be considered as directly. So you are going to get here four ones, four ones. This zero will be moved to here, zero triple one. This zero will be moved here as shift count is decremented by one. I have written as one. Now you are getting again one zero, one zero. When you got one zero, you have to perform accumulator minus m, comma right shift, right? Accumulator is what four ones minus m value is you have already calculated. That is zero one zero one zero one zero, right? So when you are going to make addition, you are going to get here one zero. This is one zero. Triple one is one one, one one is one zero. Guys, in piece complement, if you are trying to perform addition, you have to left simply with the carry, discard, right? And this will be as it is zero triple one, and this will be zero, right? After that, you have to make right shift. You have to make right shift, right? When so when when you make right shift, this zero should be as it is zero, zero, one zero, one zero. This zero will becomes here zero, zero, one one and this one will becomes here so finally you got zero so now shift count is zero meaning that uh, shift count we got as zero so we can stop the processor here and uh, we can say that this is our result our result right so means double zero one zero double zero double one what is the value of this one one two four eight sixteen thirty two 32. 32 plus 2, 34. 34 plus 1 is which is equivalent to 34. The same result you got or not? Yes. Guys, we missed here one more condition. Uh, that condition is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Another condition is you have to have 1, 1. So when you got 1, 1, you have to make again arithmetic shift right only. Okay. See, I didn't done any magic. This is a particular procedure. This is a particular algorithm you have to do. Guys, uh, here, here, you have to make sure that when you are going to perform arithmetic accumulator minus m and accumulator plus m, and when you have to perform only arithmetic right shift. So these are all like arithmetic right shift. Okay, fine. See, uh, sir, uh, in the previous slide you said like this is the procedure. 
this is a procedure and this particular thing you haven't gone through the block of funds you haven't gone through block of funds right so this is a kind of a block of funds right so yeah because i haven't taken that kind of situation i haven't taken that kind of situation that's why you got the procedure like this right so guys if you are able to observe here how many additions have you done right so for that i will try to take one more example or uh, try to make a note clearly so i am trying to do uh here uh, the m value is 0 1 0 double 1 this is my multiplicand and my multiplier is uh, 0 triple one zero this is i am going to call it as q call it as a q right so when you are going to do this one first initially you have to make sure an accumulator i can call it as ac accumulator accumulator contains a number of zeros or should be like number of uh, uh, what we can call c this one so total how many bits are there in the multiplicand total 5 bits are there so i have taken 5 zeros and q should be 0 110 and qn plus 1 i can say technically so in representation form i have written as q1 plus 1 by default i can take it as 0 default i can take it as 0 right yes so here uh, the count of this one is 5 count of this one is 5 right shift count now try to observe so what is the initial processor you can you can just make sure uh, to write somewhere so when you are going to get 00 or 11 you are going to simply perform arithmetic right shift when you are going to get 10 you are going to simply perform accumulator minus m comma arithmetic right shift then you are going to get 0 comma 01 you are going to perform arithmetic count plus m comma arithmetic right shift arithmetic right shift okay guys see uh try to observe uh, i got here initially as 00 0 initially as 00 0 when you got 0 0 you are going to simply make right shift when you are going to make right shift this should be as it is and all the remaining zero should be moved to right side and here you will get uh, this zero this zero and this will be moved towards right side zero triple one this will move to here so now count will be decremented by one right yes now you got one zero when you got one zero you have to perform accumulator minus m accumulator minus m right when you are going to have accumulator what is minus m this should be complement of this one 10 100 1 so you are going to get 10 uh, 101 you can able to perform addition so you are going to get 10 101 00 11 0 right and then you have to perform arithmetic right shift when you are going to make arithmetic right shift this should be as it is 1 1 0 1 0 this one will becomes to here 1 0 0 1 this one should be here so you are having arithmetic right shift uh, done so shift count is decremented by 1 okay now now you got uh, as 1 1 so when you got as 1 1 you have to make sure to shift only right so one will be as it is and all will move towards right side 1 1 Zero one, so this zero will be moved to here. Zero one double zero one. This one will be moved to here. And as I try to uh, shift it by one, you are going to decrease the value by one once again. Okay, fine. Now you are going to get once again one one. When you got once again one one. Once again one one. So you have to make sure. to perform arithmetic right shift so again one will be as it is so this one will be comes here as well 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0
zero four ones zero and this one will comes here one zero one double zero and this one will comes here right i got shift count decremented by once again one more one now now try to observe here you got here as zero one you got here as zero one when you got zero one you have to make sure accumulator plus them right what is accumulator four ones zero four one zero plus m is m is zero one zero double one you can make sure it has one it should be one zero it should be one zero rule one is one 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 uh, here one one is one zero as you got carry in b's complement you can discard this one this is one zero one double zero this will be one this will be one right now try to observe i am going to make right shift when i am going to make right shift this zero will be as it is and this zero will be taken here zero one double zero this one will becomes here one one zero one zero this one is zero so here the count is decremented by zero right so when you got here zero as count you can stop the processor you can stop the processor now what is your result your result will be double zero one double zero double one zero one zero one double zero, right so you can make sure the value of this one is eight plus three eleven and this one is eight four twelve fourteen so your result will be again one fifty four so which i have taken the earlier calculation right is it one fifty four one two four eight sixteen Yes, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, one twenty-eight plus uh, twenty-eight. Ah, uh, sorry, one twenty-eight plus sixteen plus eight, twenty-four, twenty-four plus two, twenty-six. So you are going to get one fifty-four, which is equal to the actual result. So this way, your uh, booth algorithm is going to work, right? If you are able to observe here, here I have taken two post numbers. One is eleven, another one is fourteen, which is working for the same procedure. For the same procedure, and if you are able to observe here, I have taken uh, two negative numbers, which is going to work. Similarly, it can able to work for the negative numbers also, right? Uh, like I can say that unsigned numbers are working as well as signed numbers are going to be work. This is the algorithm we can able to use, right? If you are able to simply draw its uh, flow chart, how how we did all this, all this, uh, right? For, so basically. we are going to have a multiplicand i can say it as m and uh, there will be a multiplier i can call it as a q this is my basically our input our input right yes or else so basically how we are going to represent the inputs we can represent like right yes and then they are going to be uh, contains uh, i am assuming the basic values right so accumulator value i am assuming it as a zero and uh, initially the shift count is also a zero and uh, i am assuming the q1 plus 1 is also zero this is what i did right q1 plus 1 zero uh, so shift count is i am making it as uh, zero right so shift count is should be the number of uh, bits in q1 q1 it should not be zero because i made here as five right yes it should be yeah okay fine after this uh, once we done once we done with this every time what we are trying to do we are trying to first check with the q1 and q1 plus 1 values q1 and q1 plus 1 value so i will try to make comparison of these two values so that is qn and qn plus 1 when i am going to compare like comparison means what what values i am trying to get if i am going to get the things like 0 0 or 1 1 what i am trying to do i am going to make simply arithmetic right shift simply arithmetic right shift so uh, i will simply process it Simply process it. What I am trying to do, I am simply performing arithmetic right shift. Right? 
when you are trying to simply perform arithmetic right shift i am going to decrease its shift count by minus 1 minus 1 am i right similarly when you are going to get 1 zero as input you are going to some other procedure am i right yes so when you are getting 1 zero as input you are performing arithmetic uh, accumulator minus m so you are trying to simply performing accumulator as accumulator minus m accumulator minus m once it is done again you are trying to perform shift count decimated by 1 similarly when you are going to get 0 1 as input you are going to make sure accumulator as accumulator plus m plus m after that you are going to perform shift count meaning that irrespective of whether you are performing addition subtraction or nothing you have to compulsory make sure to perform shift count once shift count is done this particular position is going to be repeated for until how many times until you are going to get zero that's why i made here shift count as n1 hmm. okay i am going to check here shift count right is this shift count is equal to zero if it is yes we are going to end the processor we are going to end the processor if this shift count is not zero not zero if it is not zero i am going to make sure to check for again the remaining processor right so i can say this is the flow chart for flow chart for booth salgar right so this booth algorithm is meant for the purpose purpose of multiplying two signed numbers i mean multiplication of signed numbers or unsigned numbers and also it can re able to reduce number of additions also okay fine i hope understood clearly thank you